So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks for the Untethered Edge sets. So if you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and then the Shade of Radio. They're both right here. Definitely check them out because I do go really hard on the Warlocks, specifically the chest piece and the helmet. Like, man, when I tell you I go in deep, I feel bad because like I really just for like a good 10 minutes just went in on that armor. Because again, it's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Uh, for the shader video, we go through all the shaders that I currently own. Specifically, my favorite, because if I go through all of them, I genuinely do fall asleep. And then for the other videos, we've already done the Hunter and Titan videos. They're both right here. Definitely check them out. Um, there are going to be some... I think there's only two sets from the Hunter and Titan, or specifically one set for the Hunter and Titan sets that I think are terrible. But other than that, every other piece, are every set, every other set is super dope, and I definitely recommend it. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. If you are new, hit the bell notification, sub. I do a lot of fashion content and yeah, it's, it's nonstop. I genuinely post a lot of fashion. It's kind of scary how much I post, but yeah, if you guys like the video, again, do all the things. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet, and I think the helmet's terrible. That being said, we're going to be combining it with the new Warlock Exotic, the Mat Matadoxia, whatever. It's I generally do like it. That being said, when I say I like it, I genuinely I mean the like the set that I made. I genuinely do like it. That it's just the fact that like for this set specifically. When I was going through the chest pieces of, because I was like, I don't know if I want to use an exotic or just a regular legendary chest piece. And when I saw this combo, it immediately made me think of like 90s, like sci-fi, specifically the fifth element movie. Um, just reminded me a lot of like how the aliens were like, had like weird, like helmets and dress ups and like just their flesh looked kind of weird. And then they had like super gorgeous gowns. And that's kind of like where my head went with it. So for the arms contender gloves, because I didn't want anything too crazy for the arms. Obviously, the whole sh like look of this is going to be the helmet and the chest. Piece. I think those two are just what I really wanted to showcase, which is why we're kind of using boring arms and boots. This fetish boots, because um, I like that, like a uh, texture that it has. It almost looks like a uh, like flesh, like like metallic flesh. And then uh, Ancestral Bond with Dawning Brilliance actually turns it off, which I didn't know. So, yeah, that's probably pretty much why we're using Dawning Brilliance, aside from the fact that I actually do like the shader. And I, if if someone was like, use the helmet, this is the set I would use with it. Because I, I do genuinely like this whole thing. But it's more so because it reminds me of the Fifth Element style more than just, oh, it looks cool. It's just, oh, it reminds me of the Fifth Element, specifically that fucking, like, blue girl that she wore the dress. That's literally where my head went with this, so... That being said, I did try to go for a ratchet look for from Ratchet and Clank, and immediately it was like, I'm not doing this. There's like, if Hunters got this set, I could probably do a Ratchet and Clank set, but I cannot do it with the Warlocks because Warlocks, they're only always. Oh, well, I guess I could have done it with one specific chess piece, but that would have looked weird. So, yeah, Warlocks. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, this is a set that I made for the ancestral set for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know. I've made that set for the PlayStation collab uh, video. I'll have it here, but I can't make another like thing because the first four videos already took that. Uh, but for this one, we're going to be using Apothesis Veil with the Ancestor Robes combo. I think this combo is super dope. And then we're going to be using the Untethered Edge arms for the boots, Iron Simiki boots, and then for the Bond Iron Pledge ornament. So. Yeah, obviously going for a heavy Japanese look. Ignore the male Titans. I don't know why I'm not using the Iron Samiki boots, but the Iron Samiki boots is definitely what you're going to want to use because specifically, obviously the chest pieces is a Japanese look. The Iron Samiki boots is also really good for that because it's obviously Japanese themed. And then the other good thing about the first frost shader that we're using is the fact that not only does it go with the Iron Samiki boots because the like wire the wires or not wires but the cords on the, on the actual feet don't change color and i wanted to combine or actually have some of the color from that gemstone for apothesis veil so yeah again apologize for the male titan or warlocks i don't know what happened those that set is or that piece those boots are actually not bad either they're really really cool if you want to go for like i don't know 
the warlock burnt his legs and now he just has bandages there that also is a cool look so i'll just leave it here so that way you guys can see both of them i have been thinking about making different sets for male and females because they definitely have some cool sets that look cool on one gender and the other gender does not look cool but i will hold off on that because a that's more work for me and b i want to showcase the actual armor that i made for both genders so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set, I obviously am going for a Japanese look for this one as well. For the exotic, we're going to be using the Swarmers, which is very unfortunate considering you can't even see them. But for the helmet, Iron Remembrance Hood. For the arms, Death Singer's Grips, specifically because the left side is armored and the right side is not. Even though they have the same looking fucking arms, one side is armored and one side takes the leather shader. So that's why I'm going for that. Uh, for the bond, we're using the Iron Foreigner bond just because I think it looks cool. So, uh, for those of you who have seen my review video, I think this would have been such a cool piece to put the robes, um, starting from the right side. No, starting from the left side, all of that piece should have just been like down, like, like a kimono should have been all the way down. So that way a lot of that side could have been like just a human anatomy. I think that would have been way better, but this side doesn't look that terrible to, no it's honestly it's just the the left side the like shoulder pad thing i fucking hate that um the kimono is cool i guess even if can you even call this a kimono i don't know either way like i like the chest piece kind of but it's just i can't really unsee the fact that like oh like if they had done the thing i said from the review video this chest piece would have been the best chest piece in the game bar none but this is what we got for the shader lucid lucid specifically because uh, the the uh, points of the fingers have this green glow that does not change color and I was just like fuck it Let's just use lucid lucid is one of my favorite shader shaders. So why not? And then last but not least we're gonna be using Nezarak sin for the helmet for the arms Tusk allegiance gloves for the chest piece shadow broker robes for the boots We're actually gonna be using the untethered edge piece and then for the bond street scholar bond so obviously i'm going for like a techno uh sorcerer type of thing i think that's the best thing i can call it and for the shader and precursor x chrome just because every piece looks really really cool yeah definitely the best set from this whole video genuinely because i think every piece just looks amazing together i think the shadow broker robes with the boots is such a good combo the first thing i saw when i saw those boots for the first time i was like i'm gonna combine it with the shadow broker robes because it's gonna look fucking amazing and i was not wrong it looks super dope um don't really have much to add to this one i think that it speaks for itself i think the the only thing i really change would be the or not just the, the uh bond I think that's the only thing I could change. I would probably just switch out the shader for something else. So that way I can get a glow, like a gold glow. That being said, if you're super, super picky, the helmet for Nezarexin does have a blue glow. So that's kind of where my head goes. Like it's fine. Cause there is some blue glow in there. I would most likely switch out the Tusk Allegiance gloves just because uh, I don't want pure gold on that, on the arms. Um, so I'd probably just either switch out, switch it out for a white or just switch out the piece completely either way let me know what you guys think about this set warlocks did i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below i really really like a lot of these pieces that being said i definitely think the first one's like not that great personally um just because it feels like a cop out uh talking about the fifth element just because again like i see it but i definitely will see people being like no that's a cop out and i will a thousand percent never deny it it is definitely a cop out um, but I do think the second, third, and fourth are really cool. Third one, not so much, but the third and fourth, or the second and fourth one, I think are amazing. So, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys dick, did you did you guys get dicked from your armor set? I definitely think so, but let me know your opinion in the comments below. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.